Hi, Erwan from Motion VFX. This video is fully dedicated to M16mm plugin for DaVinci Resolve for Mac and PC. M16mm is a pack of 30 analog film presets which will add an instant vintage feel to your production. Let's see a short project to show you some effects in action. <laughs> Back in DaVinci Resolve, M16mm is fully optimized for the edit page. Here you can find our basic editing with some cross-dissolve transitions and retiming effects. When you've purchased and installed M16mm to your system, you will find M16mm presets in the FX library. Open the toolbox and click on FX. You will have access to the Fusion FX, where you will have access to the 30 presets. By scrubbing the cursor over the effect, you will be able to preview the effect. If you can't preview the effect, check if you have the Overscrub Preview option activated. If you really like a preset, you can click on the Start to add it to the Favorites area. To apply a preset, just drag and drop it over your clip from the list or from the favorite section. When a preset is added on your clip, you will have a little three stars icons that will appear on your clip. Let's add the second effect on the second clip. I will add the preset number one. This effect is really nice, but like all the Motion VFX plugin, this effect is fully customizable. Let's modify some parameters. We just have to open the inspector. Inside, we will have access to all the clip parameters. To get into the effects parameters, we will have to click on the effects tab, and in the fusion tab, we will have access to all the parameters of the preset we have applied. For this preset, there are four sections. Effects, color settings, leak settings, and frame settings. Each presets are unique, with their own parameters and sections, so you can see differences between each preset. Let's open the first one, FX. Inside this section, you will find various effects. For this preset, I will be able to adjust the prism blur. I can switch it on or off. Prism blur is like a chromatic aberration, so I can adjust the distance of the effect. I can increase or decrease the effect with the strength of the blur and the aberration. To reset a parameter, you can double-click on the parameter name, or just click once on the point that represents the default value. Below, I will be able to adjust the soft glow. The glow effect will boost the highlights, so here with this clip I can boost the light coming from the window on the left. With the blend parameter, I can adjust the global effect. For the third effect, the grain, I will disable the two previous effects, as it will be more easy to see the effects in details. For the grain, I can play with the power parameter to increase the contrast of the grain. The softness parameter will do the opposite effect. I can increase the size of the grain and adjust the spacing. So as you can see, we can go very deep for the customization for each effect. Inside the film damage section, I will be able to customize the dirt effect. Here I will increase the number of dirt and change the color. I can also change the size add some blur on each element. And with the dirt seed parameter, I will be able to modify the layout of the dirt elements. By default, the changing dirt parameter is activated. So it means that the dirt will change on each frame. If I disable it, the dirt element will stay at the same position, so it will mimic dirt on the lens. The last effect, the scratch, I can increase the size and the strength like the dirt elements, you can ask to have an animated scratches or a fixed one. Next, inside the color settings, you will be able to fine tune the color of the preset. You will have access to the master control to get an overall tint, but you can also be more subtle by modifying the highlights, midtones, and shadows independently. Below, you will find more controls to adjust the contrast, the lift, the gamma, saturations, and even the U parameter to quickly switch to a new color set.
With the next section, we will be able to customize the flare effect of the preset. This preset contains a light leak. Multiple blending modes are available. You can adjust the gamma, gain, contrast, saturation, and many more parameters. The last section is the frame settings. As you can see for this preset, it is very simple as we have only the on-off parameter. Depending on the preset, you can get more controls. Like the preset I've already added to the first clip. With this preset, inside the frame settings, we have options to check the camera. And I can also modify the color of the content of the frame. I can blur it. As I've said before, each preset are unique, so don't hesitate to look and test them all. As the effects adds many filters like blur, glow, grain, and depending on your configuration, you may have some difficulties to preview the effect in real time inside DaVinci Resolve. But there are some workflows that can help you to get real time playback. To do so, we will have to use the render cache feature. In the playback menu, you will find Render Cache. There are three options, Known, Smart, and User. Smart will cache automatically effects like transitions, titles, and retiming effects. User will give you more controls on what you want to render. I will select Smart. As soon as it is selected, DaVinci Resolve will render some part of the editing, parts where you will have some effects and transitions. The blue line represents the parts which are rendered. Red means that is not cached yet. In the preferences of the project, in the master settings, you can decide which codec you want to use for the rendering of the cache. Depending on your system and your configuration, you can get access to the uncompressed codec or the ProRes flavor, the NXHD or GoPro Cineforms codecs. Here I will keep the ProRes 422 codec to get a nice render as there will be some little details like grain, dirt and various elements. Below you will find some additional options like the timing before rendering and the user mode options. I will click on save. If I come back to my project, I can see that my clip with my effect is not cached. We will have to tell DaVinci Resolve to cache our fusion effect. It is really simple as you just have to do a right click and we can see the option Render Cache Fusion Effect Filter. If I do a right click on the clip which don't have any fusion effect, the option is not available. So I will do a right click and select the option. We can see our effect, so we will have to click on it to activate the render, and the caching will start. The line is fully blue, so now I can play the clip and see the effect at 24 frames per second. Let's see more tips and tricks, and I will go to the underwater shot. These two shots are the same. The second one is just in reverse mode. As I would like to apply the same effect on both clips, I will select both and do a right click, and I will group them with a compound clip. I will name it Underwater. I will select the preset number 8 and drag it over the compound clip. In the inspector, we go to the effects tab. We can see that it is also the same section compared to the previous effect, but there is a difference with the dirt settings section. With this one, we can adjust the blending modes of the dirt and the light leak, and do some color correction with the parameters like lift, gamma, saturation, contrast, and many more. If you want to go further with the customization of the effect, there are many possibilities. Each preset are fusion effects. It means that we can modify them in the fusion page and take advantage of the compositing environment. But if we go directly to the fusion page, we can't see our effect, just the original footage. To get access to the effect inside the fusion page, we'll have to go back to the edit page and inside the inspector, we will have to click on the fusion effect icon. So now we can see the preset inside the fusion page. Inside the inspector, we have access to all the parameters. Here, I would like to change the light leak, so I will modify the opacity parameter to zero to remove it. 
To add a new one, you can import any elements, picture or videos, to composite it inside the Fusion page. In this case, I will use some light leaks element from the Motion VFX website, as Motion VFX provides many compositing element packs compatible with any compositing software like DaVinci Resolve. You can find many compositing elements packs like caustics, anamorphic flares. Here I will use elements for the MLix 4K pack. Once purchased, you can download them and import them to your media pool. You can preview them by skimming the thumbnails. I will use this one. To composite the effect with a leak, I will drag the output of the leak to the output of the effect. It will automatically create a merge node. I will select this node and modify inside the inspector the blending mode to screen. I will need some color corrections as it is not the same blue. I'm missing some green on the leak. To do so, I will add a color node. and push the green tint on the master, like this. Fusion is very versatile. I will also add a transform node to be able to change the position of the leak. Just a little bit on the left, like this. Okay, I'm done. Let's go back to the edit page. We can see our effect with a new light leak. There is another way to customize your effect without going to the Fusion page. The tip is you can mix presets. For example, with this effect, I would like to use a frame element from another preset. So in the frame settings, I will deactivate it. And I will add a second preset on the compound clip, the preset 15. As all the presets are very modular, I can deactivate every effect and keep only the frame element visible. I will adjust some parameters. And now we have our unique effect with a new light leak and the new frame. As you just seen, M16mm will add instant vintage look to your project and each preset are fully customizable so your projects will be unique. Also, all the presets are fully integrated to DaVinci Resolve to take advantage of the caching rendering workflow and the integration with Fusion. To get more information about M16mm and all the other DaVinci Resolve solutions, please visit motionvfx.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, ciao ciao, bye bye.